Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to import multiple files from the same folder. Uh, so let's start. I've got, uh, so I've got some uh, data. So this is world population data and I'll just open one of the files to show you what I've got here. And it just shows me the country, uh, the continental region they belong to, the statistical region they belong to and their population as of 1st of July 2016, population as of 1st of uh, July 2017 and a percentage change. So I've got four files for four geographic re regions or for four continents, which is Africa, Asia, Europe, and then we've got Oceania. I'll just take Oceania out. Okay, so I already have that file here. So what I've essentially done is I've taken that file out from uh, this folder. And let me just copy this, the folder location. And I'll open the Power BI desktop, which is the file I've got open. And I'll go on to, on the home tab, I'll go to get data and click on that. And I'll go on, click on more. And I'll select the folder and click on connect. And I'll specify the folder path. So I've already copied the folder path. I'll copy that and click OK. And what this does is it opens a Power Query editor or it shows me how what what it's located in that particular folder. So it's giving me uh, some metadata about the file. What is the name? What is when was it last modified? When was it created? So instead of loading it, I'll just uh, or combining it at the moment, I'll just click on Edit. And it's it also has the content here. So it's got all the metadata, the file metadata on the right. And it's got the content here. So I'll right click here and say uh, remove uh, other columns. And then I'll click on this double arrow which sits here. And what it does is it combines all the content from three files. So if I click OK here, you can see I've got uh, these three files. And how I can tell is I can I've got three regions, Asia, Africa, and Europe. And if I open, I've, I think I've got this file open now. So I've got this, let me just select one of the files and click on edit with notepad. And it, so the Africa file has only got data from Africa. You can see it here. Similarly for Asia, you can see it's only got data from Asia. And let me open Europe. And you can see it doesn't have any data from Oceania. So over here. So let me go and grab that data. I'll just do a control C, control V here. And if I open this in Notepad++, you will see it has got data from Oceania. So if I go ahead in this, and just do a quick refresh. What it does is now it's got Oceania as well. So I'll click OK and close and apply. So in case you're getting data from multiple regions and as your business or expands, you, you want data from multiple files and you can just dump it into that specific folder and Power BI will automatically do the heavy lifting for you and combine that uh, data and it will become available to you. So I can go here and have a look at the data as well again. And I've got all the data. So if I have another region coming up and as long as the format is the same, I can just copy and paste it over there. So uh, this is just how you connect to a folder using Power BI desktop, specifically using Power Query and uh, get data for multiple fi files uh, sitting in one specific folder. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, thank you.